Okay, so today's video is kind of like an impromptu video. What I did was I used the new uh, Makeup by Mario, what is it, the Ethereal Eyes? This is a very impromptu video. <laughs> so no preparation of much was done. But this is the Ethereal Eyes Moonlight Palette, okay? So... I did go ahead and grab this from Sephora a few days ago. I had really been eyeing it because I'm really, really in love with cool tones right now. Of course, I love blue. If you guys are OGs, you know that I love color and I love blue. So it definitely caught my eye. Um, really, really love the gray tones in here. The fact that there's a black in here. And on top of that, I have never tried Makeup by Mario's formula. So this is my first palette by him, I believe, with me trying his formula. So that's why I went ahead and grabbed it. But I did kind of hem and haw over it a lot when I first saw it kind of teased and the picture shown and when it launched, I went back and forth over this. And I feel like some other people might be doing that as well, that love makeup. Maybe you have a lot of palettes. Maybe you're kind of like mm, wishy-washy on cool tones. And that one little pop of blue kind of has you wanting it, but you're kind of like mm, the rest of the shades, I don't know. Because I'll just give you my basic thoughts after using this palette, very nice quality very nice quality i love the mattes they do have a decent amount of kick up in the pan but i don't mind kick up when there is nice pigment and it makes it just easier to blend and i feel like the kick up in these pans make these shadows very easy to blend very nice comfortable to use i like shadows that are enjoyable to use and don't stress me out so I would say the quality is very nice. Now with these shimmers, I would say if you're looking for really opaque, bold, you know, just in your face shimmers, this ain't it. <laughs> these are like more like toppers. They're like very light, very soft, very, you know, like, I don't want to say glittery because it's not like heavy glitter but it does have a lot of particleness to it right so like in this eye look i wanted to go pretty bold with the blue and the gray so i went ham with the blue and the gray um these shades over here in the black you know little black in the outer corner but as far as this topper shade right here that i put on the lid as you can see it just kind of has like that hint of glitter with the pretty like shimmery flecks in there. And I had to go over that several times just to get it to look like this. And let me tell you, this inner corner pop is not from this palette. So if you are <laughs> like really, really loving my inner corner pop is not from this palette. I used um, a highlighter that I've had from JD Glow for years and years. I don't even think they're in business anymore. But I have this highlighter from them that I used for my inner corner pop because whenever I do a blue eye look, this really kind of brings it out. So yeah, this blue is not from this palette, but everything else is, you know, everything else is. So I would say just my basic thoughts on using this for the first time. And I don't feel like this is a palette that I need to use 20 times or even two or three times to get my thoughts on it. And I'm not really like that about a lot of palettes. You know, I kind of like to use them a few times, but this one, I feel like it's very nice quality. I know I've seen some people saying that it is very crumbly and falls apart and things like that, but mine has held up quite well. I've swatched it. I've used it. I've dug my brush into it, as you can see here, you know, to get that shimmer on my lid and went in with the blues and grays a lot. So I like this palette, but I definitely would say I didn't need it. I wanted it because I wanted to try his formula, but didn't need it. And I feel like there might be some other people out there that you have some palettes in your collection, one or two or whatever. You know, a lot of us have a lot of different palettes in our collections. And those of us <laughs> who talk about makeup a lot have a lot of the same palettes. But I wanted to just kind of show you some palettes that I have in my collection already. 
and just, you know, kind of hold them up. I might swatch a few, but I don't want this video to be too long. So I'm just going to hold them up and just kind of give you some ideas or thoughts of palettes you might already have. Because this palette is, what, 68 bucks, Pretty pricey, 12 shades, very nice quality, like I said. If you just want it, I'm not here to talk you out of it. But... My opinion is if you already have palettes that have like a few taupey shades, maybe a couple of grays, a black and a blue, you good because the shimmers to me are just toppers. And if you like those type of shimmers, knock yourself out. But for me, I like a little bit more punch. I don't want to have to apply a shimmer 20 times just to get it to show up a little bit. And I made sure and put down a dark base underneath the shimmer to make sure that you could see it. So um, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Like I said, this video, no real rhyme or reason. I just wanted to show you some palettes, but I'm gonna scoot over a little because I wanna put up a picture of the palette, maybe the swatches that I did, um, just to kind of show you so you can look at it while we're talking about these palettes. Now, these two palettes I pulled together, these two Nabla palettes, these are cutie palettes. This one is the Platinum and this one is the Midnight, okay? So this one has more, some of the more like cool tone shades in it. And this one, of course, is gorgeous blues. But I feel like if you have either one of these palettes, let me scoot over or both of these palettes together, you probably really can get like the same vibe or same feel using these palettes together. Or maybe you have one of these and you have a different palette that has like some blue or a different palette that has some taupes in it. Maybe like some ColourPop palettes, you know, and you can kind of mix them together and create the same type of looks and maybe even have some better formula shimmers in my opinion now this next palette is kind of like you know hit or miss or whatever but it kind of gives me the same vibe same feels this one is the glam light hershey's cookies and cream palette that they came out with a while ago and it has like you know some browns dark brown uh taupey tan and it has some beautiful blues in here because it's blue heavy but you do have a, a gorgeous matte blue as well as a black so if you have this palette you might kind of second guess the mario palette not sure i mean maybe now this one is the bh cosmetics blueberry muffin who remembers this okay <laughs> this went ham when it came out and this palette has a lot of blue in it you know it has um, a very, very dark blue here that actually looks black to me, but it's like, it's a black and it has like those, you probably can't see it, but it has like the sequin shimmers in there of some blues. This is a very, very gorgeous deep dark blue, a very pretty what periwinkle blue. There's some gorgeous shimmers in here as well. You only have like these browns up here. You don't have, you know, a lot of the cool tone browns to use, but you do have this lighter shade, this pretty brown, this dark brown here. So, you know, this honestly will probably give you the same feels. Now, these two palettes here I pulled because I feel like if you have a lot of Natasha Denona palettes and maybe you collect them maybe you just get ones that you like but i feel like these two are a good combination this is the natasha denona glam palette and this is the natasha denona xenon palette um and so here as you can see in the glam palette you have like the lighter shades the tobier shades the gray tone shades in here that i feel like would be you know, a good enough. I know I have the picture on the screen, but I just want to look at it myself <laughs> since I'm not filming. But I feel like you have a good enough amount of the neutrals in this palette to kind of balance this one out. And then for some of the darker shades, that's where the Xenon comes in because when you look at this, it really looks like a gray and black palette, right? Which is some of the shades that are in the Mario but it also has like a pull of blue. This palette definitely has a pull of blue. This dark shade here, definitely a pull of blue. And so if you really are liking it for the gray tones, gorgeous shimmers and the pull of blue, 
this is probably going to scratch that itch as well. You can, you know, like combine these palettes together if you will. Um, let's see, what else did I pull? Oh, I spoke about ColourPop already. So I pulled my Of Quartz and I pulled the So Elemental, right? Both of these palettes, gorgeous in their own right. Of course, the formula is not the same, but we talking vibes and feels, okay? And everyone, you know, is not in the same type of, you know, financial situation to be spending $68 on a palette. So some people, you know, are able to purchase different ColourPop palettes and they can create the same type of look, same vibe, get the same feel for a lot less money. Because the ColourPop palettes are very affordable and I actually like ColourPop's formula. You know, I don't have a problem with it. I've created some of my most beautiful looks with ColourPop palettes. So these two palettes are a good combination for that. If you have either of those, you can kind of mix and match. Now this palette here... um. Lunar Beauty Eternal Eclipse. This one has a little bit more variation of warm tones, you know, the warm tones here in the center, but it definitely has the gorgeous blues and grays in here, you know, if that's what's pulling you, blues and grays. Maybe you already have this palette. There's some lighter shades and some gorgeous shimmers up here if you just wanna ignore the warm tones, you know, in the center but i feel like you know you definitely can create a look giving yourself the same type of vibe same type of feel now this next palette is new to my collection i haven't used it yet but oh my gosh i was so excited to get it <laughs> this is the unearthly cosmetics gargoyle and honey this palette whoo <laughs> This is one of those palettes that the color story is just, mm, I love it. Now you're probably looking at it like, man, eh, that's not really the same. But if you look up here, if you kind of look up here, you see those neutrals. You know what I'm saying? You really do see those cool tone neutrals, honey. And in creating the eye look, a lot of us only use two to three shadows to create a look. So, you know, you're not needing all 12 shadows in the palette. This blue is gorgeous. It's not the same as the one in the Mario. This blue here, a little bit darker, a little bit more along that navy blue line. And then you have this black, you have this gray. So it's like that. there's some pretty purples and greens in here that will kind of make you think, oh, maybe not so much. But if you ignore all of those extra shadows and just focus on the neutrals and the blacks and the blues, then you, know, you can see where I'm coming from, okay? You can catch my drift, if you will. Same thing with this palette, this Halloween 2 palette. Just got this as well. It's funny because I hate horror movies. Do not like them. Do not like to watch them. But, <laughs> honey, when Glam Light comes out with a horror palette, the color stories, the color stories be on point. Okay, so I have to just ignore the little scary, you know, uh, packaging because honey the color stories be on point now I didn't originally look at this along the lines of the Mario palette but then when I took another look at it I was like wait hold up cover these up you see these neutral shades this neutral quad over here very neutral very gray very taupey okay and then, and you have this pop of white over here, but then you have this blue and you have this black. And I was like, hold on now, this palette is a little bit more similar, you know, to the Mario situation than I had originally thought. Because these yellows right here really make it a different palette. And then, you know, but it's like, child, just take all this away. And it's very, very similar, okay? So if you just got this, you might not need that, <laughs> okay? You know, but do what you like, do what you like. I have this Cultrals by Cosmic Beauty, I believe now. Not Cosmic Brushes anymore, but Cosmic Beauty, I think. The Cultrals. Oh, this is another palette that just stole my heart, honey. Just like the um, Gargoyle palette. This Cultrals palette. Let's take a look, okay? Gorgeous, beautiful. How many shades is this? What, 20, five, four, 20 shades, right? Immediately, 
I go to the blues, gorgeous blue, gorgeous blue, uh, sequin black, dark shade here. I don't know, is that a dark gray? You got, um, these are like more purpley pulling grays or whatever. Ignore that, just kind of focus on these neutrals up here. You look at these neutrals right here, ignore the pinks, ignore the purples. Look at the neutrals, look at the grays. You got dark tones, blues, even a darker blue. So, and the pop of white, okay? So, I'm just saying, if you have that, you're good to go. Now, this palette here, let me talk about a couple more palettes that are actually pretty doggone close. Now, this one is the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership One Subliminal number one okay now i do collect these motherships so honey most of mine aren't even touched but you know they make a nice weapon but this palette here is undeniable you can't look at this palette and not see the similarities in the color story it's impossible it's just you know, Pat McGrath's quality when using her palettes, it's definitely a good time, just like it was a good time using this Mario palette. But 100%, you have to agree that the vibe, the vibe is there, okay? So I just wanted to pull that one because for sure is definitely a good match. Now, another affordable palette that really I was kind of like, eh, I don't know, but I wanted to throw this in because I feel like, you know, a lot of people might have this palette. This one is more affordable from Profusion and this is the Twilight palette, right? When you first look at this palette, it's absolutely gorgeous, first of all, but when you first look at this palette, you're drawn to the blues and the purples. So that kind of throws you off, right? But if you take out the purples, take out this pink, you still are left with, you know, some dark blues, a black, um, and then you have some neutrals over here. You also have a gray. You have this beautiful shimmer here, another kind of cool tone gray. So it's like, even though this palette has what, seven times three, 21 shadows in it, you know, in the Mario, of course, it only has the 12. You take away all those purples and pinks, and you're still left with neutrals, blue, grays, you know, so you can kind of just play with this. I Believe me, I can get a very close or similar look to what I have on my eyes using this. So it's kind of like the purples throw you off, but definitely has some of the same feels and vibes in that palette. Okay, so I'm trying to go fast, y'all. Like I said, I don't want this video too long. The Enduring Love from Sydney Grace. This palette is so gorgeous. It's so, so gorgeous. You really feel the pools of the pinks and purples in here, right? Because that first row, very pinkalicious. This purple is gorgeous here. But if you really ignore the pinks, look at the neutrals in the gray right? Look at the neutrals in the gray, a beautiful white shade down here. This gorgeous shimmer, beautiful. Take out this purple, right? So look at here, blue, black, gorgeous tan shades. So you have your light neutrals, your gray, your white, your blue, your black, tan. It's very, very easy to kind of come up with similar looks that you would get with the Mario palette with a lot of palettes, you guys. A lot of palettes because it's very repetitive. Very repetitive. <laughs> My opinion, a little, a little bit too repetitive and redundant, but you can get a gorgeous look. Now this palette, I don't know, I probably shouldn't have pulled it, but I wanted to pull it because it's gorgeous. It's the Avatar Last Airbender palette from Lethal Cosmetics. And this one is... The water palette, the one with the blues. So this is a very blue heavy palette, of course. You know what I'm saying? But I pulled this palette only because of the fact that it has this gorgeous taupey shade, taupey gray shade, bright white, and gorgeous blue. So it's like if you have another palette that has the black in it, you know, a lot of us have a black in other palettes. A lot of us have, you know, our basic tan shades that we like to use as um, 
transition shades or whatever. Maybe you have this palette and you forgot it has this gorgeous blue in here, this gorgeous taupe, this white. So it's kind of like, you know, you can kind of mix it up if you will. Now these palettes here I pulled, they don't have that blue in there and they might not even have that black in there, but sometimes you forget if you have these palettes that you have the majority of these, you know, neutral taupey shades, even some shimmers that might be better than these. Um, and all you need is a pop of blue and a pop of black if you want. Now, this palette here is from Nomad. This is the OSL. They came out with these three of these little travel palettes this year. And I fell in love with this one, actually, because I really, really love the taupey cool tone shades in here. Gray tones, taupey tones, cool tones. And these shimmers, oh my goodness, out of this world. So you have that. You have a nice start. This ColourPop 1111. Now, this one is another one that I was kind of like, eh, but <laughs> hear me out, hear me out, okay? Just kind of like ignore these pinky tones over here and even ignore like this, you know, bold kind of gold bronzy shade and this gold shade in here. If you just kind of focus on some of these shades, the grays, the whites, you know what I mean? If you took like one, two, three, four, five, six shades out of this palette, you'd be like halfway to the Mario palette with the color story. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, just remove some of these shades, take out these goldy shades, and you kind of have a nice little um, selection of cooler tone shadows to play with. This palette here from Beauty Bay, I actually love it. This is a neutral palette. <laughs> Very, very neutral. I love this color story. It does pull pink in a couple of the shades here. So it just gives you a little more variety in this palette. But when looking at this palette and you look at these, you know, dare I say it, boring, <laughs> boring shades, boring cool tones. You got the black in there, you know, the grays, you got these light, boring tan shades and browns, you know, white and all that stuff. That's what we're looking at in this Mario palette. We're not looking for anything, you know, out of the world rocket science or whatever. We're just looking in our collection for what we have and we know is going to be the same, you know, as this palette color story wise. Okay. So I just have a few more. Now I thought about when I, um, when Makeup Geek, right before they went out of business, I guess, I don't know if they came, did they come back? I don't know. But right before she went out of business, she had launched these larger palettes, right? These larger palettes, a colorful one and a more neutral one. So of course, in the colorful one, you have blue. You have a navy blue in there. So these are singles, by the way. Singles from Makeup Geek. I bought these um, when she launched them. I thought these were absolutely gorgeous. These are great. I guess for makeup artists to use, you know, to have all these different variations of shades and colors. But if you look at this one, this one definitely has all of the neutrals, cool tone neutrals that you would need to feel comfortable with, you know, kind of using this palette. The only thing with these palettes is they're all matte. So um, I think the colorful one has some shimmers, but these are all mattes. So maybe you want to create your own palette, pull some mattes out of here, pull some um, neutrals out of here and just kind of create your own situation and you can even jazz it up a bit. Maybe you want more than just that pop of blue in your palette and you don't really have it. Now, these are just some honorable mentions. Oh, and I also wanted to just point out, if you do have a neutral palette, and you do have some singles in your collection and you know some of your singles happen to be dark navy blues that makes it really simple and really easy you know to create your own palette or pull in the blue whenever you don't just want to have your neutrals and your topper shimmers so these are just a couple of navy blue um singles that i have this one is from adept this square one is from Adept 
and it is the ACM27. <laughs> I got that, you know, when I first heard about Adept and they, you know, had the shadows with the letters and the numbers and all that stuff. So I've had that for a while. And then this one is called Crushed Blueberry. And this one is from Makeup Addiction. So I don't even think they're in business anymore either. But yeah, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous blue matte shadow that I have from Makeup Addiction. So, you know, it's like that makes it easy with that pop of blue. If you have a navy blue matte anywhere, you're good to go. Now, these honorable mentions, this first one is from NYX. This is the Vintage Jean Baby. And I feel like this palette definitely gives the same vibes. There's more shades in here. There's, what, 16 shades. But there's neutrals in here. And there's gorgeous, like, blues, deep blues in here. Now, this blue right here pulls a little more purple it's more of like a purpley blue so it's not exactly the same but you know like i said honorable mention same type of vibe you got some neutrals whites and some blues okay this one here this glam light ghost face ghost face lives another one of their little scary palettes but the color story now, if you are really, really feeling the Mario palette because of the grays, but still a little bit a hint of blue, you know, maybe you don't like that super bold blue. This one here has a blue that's a little bit more muted, but still gorgeous the same. And you got your grays in here. And there's also some really beautiful shimmers in this palette too. So this palette, very blue, very gray heavy. It, um has like this here, I don't know if you can see it, that has like a purple hint to it and it has like the green tones, but still for me, giving me a lot of that gray tone, bluey feel. Now this one is the LA Girl Pro Artistry and I pulled this one because I know a lot of people have these palettes, I don't know. They might've decluttered them by now, but I like the large LA Girl palettes. And this one, of course, has a beautiful pop of blue. It has the black in here. And this black is not like super duper jet black. It's a little bit more muted, but it's still a black. And then you have all of these boring neutral shades up here. <laughs> like, child, you got all the boring neutral shades up here to play with your little heart is content, okay? So if you have this palette, crack it open, play with it. You know, maybe you're kind of back and forth. I know Sephora's sale is starting pretty soon. I think for, for Rouge, is it tomorrow? I think it starts tomorrow. Anyways, I'm filming this on Halloween. So I feel like for Rouge, it starts tomorrow. But y'all, I'm trying to stay out that sale, okay? It's like, I got the little palettes that I wanted. I got the Mario palette and I got the um Pat McGrath palette. So it's not really much that I'm actually thinking about getting, except maybe the ABH, the little palettes that she came out with, maybe those, and maybe like some backup lip liners, my favorite lip liners from Sephora. So who knows? Last but not least, I have the new Icy Nude. Okay. Yeah, I got this too. I already have this. So it's kind of like, I'm really not pushing for the sale to buy anything. This, I knew the minute I saw it, I was going to get it. I was like, yo, that is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. And this, I mean, aside from the shimmers and all that stuff, this has got to be one of the most boring color stories <laughs> on the planet. But very, very, you know, popular, very apropos, very, you know, exciting right now because of the whole gray cool tone situation going on but this palette I feel like you don't need to get both if you have a blue and a black shadow anywhere in your collection I feel like you don't need to get this and the Mario palette I just don't yes those are all of the palettes that I kind of feel like let me scoochie scoochie back over <laughs> That I kind of feel like if you have any of those palettes in your collection and you're kind of waffling on the Mario palette, you know, it, it really is like for me, I just wanted to get, I, I thought it was gorgeous, honestly, and it is, it's still gorgeous to me. But the fact that the shimmers are mainly toppers, 
um the shades are very basic and you know I have so many other palettes the main focus for me would be the blue and black I would never open this palette and not use the blue the gray and the black I just wouldn't so just for those reasons alone I feel like if you just want it Yes, get it, honey. Get it, girl, treat yourself. But if you're getting it because you feel like, oh, I need a blue, I need a black, or da 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 da, check your collection out, go through some of your palettes, and just make sure that you don't already have some basic shades in a blue and a black, okay? Now, for this eye look that I did today, I did not do a tutorial on it, but I did kind of, um, you know, film little clips of just the stages of me doing it. I started out using um, this shade here. I started out using this shade in my crease and just kind of buffed it out. And then after I got that buffed out in my crease, I went in with this gorgeous dark gray. So I used that shade in my crease as well kind of deepen it up a little bit more and then of course I went in with this blue and I went in pretty heavy with the blue you know on the outer corners and just kind of drug it in a little bit towards the center of my lid tapped a little bit of black in the outer corners for sure deepen it up just a little bit more and then when I wanted to play around with shimmers I took this shimmer here this is the only shimmer that I actually have on my lid and I just applied it and just kind of drug it created my own little cut crease type vibe and just kind of drug it across halfway past my lid and blended the outer corner with the blue and the black a little bit more and like I said the inner corner pop is my JD glow highlight put on some lashes put on some blue liner on my lower lash line smoked out with the dark blue and then um kind of softened it up with the gray so that's basically how i created this eye look you know and i wanted to just kind of show you how the shadows performed on my eyes i think this is an amazing formula honestly no complaints amazing formula a little bit of kick up in the pan but very pigmented so have no problem with it the shimmers I would say, if you don't like toppers, don't even bother. Some people love toppers. I don't. <laughs> so, yeah, it's up to you. You know, your, use your discretion. But that's it for this video, you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I do kind of like to do these videos just because I feel like, you know, just because I buy 5 million eyeshadow palettes because I love to collect them and try them out. You don't need to. You don't have to use what you have, child, because it's a new palette coming out every day. Multiple ones coming out every day. So I just want to kind of help you save a little money if I can. Okay. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Toodles.